What is up guys, Achilles here, um, as you can see I am in the campaign menu, um, the Seleucids got just out and I thought I might do a campaign with it. So I will be playing this on very hard, um, look at the victory conditions, okay, so no battle time limits, limited, yes, advisor help, nope, alright, so um, I get royal estate, Tetas, Town Wealth from Agricultural Buildings, Multiculturalism, minus 25% Public Order Penalties due to the presence of foreign cultures, Overlords of the East, Major Diplomatic Penalty with all Eastern Factions, uh, Successor Conflicts, min minus, no, is it plus? Yes, plus 10% morale for all units during battles against Hellenic Factions, Alexander's Legacy, minus 20 resistance to foreign Occupation. Okay, so um, let's get this started. You are the Seleucid Empire, but your grip on your eastern satrapies is weakening. Bactria is already independent, and Pathava and others may also attempt to break away. Meanwhile, to the south, the Ptolemies of Egypt are scheming against you. Their desire to control your Syrian lands may yet bring about war. Although stability to the north and west may be assured by the Sardes, who remain loyal, the warlike Galatians and the Hellenistic states of Asia Minor threaten your borders. The future of Alexander's legacy is in your hands. The Seleucid Empire must not fall. Alright, so we have started, I guess. Uh, objective hold 13 settlements. Okay, so let's see. I will first start by unlocking this. Um, we have Tarsus, Antioch, Edessa, Tyros. Actually, I have quite a good portion of land here. Alright, um. First, let's go to diplomacy. So we have Egypt, but they're not happy with us. Uh, Pontus. Let's see if I can get a trade agreement. And I did, Athens. They might trade with me as well. Yes, okay. Um, nope, let's see. Who else have we got? do we have? Armenia. Trade no, 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 no. Trade agreements. Nope. They will not. Nope, they will for sure not. These will, I guess. And they accept it. Because we're gonna need the income. Uh, trade agreements. Okay then. I don't know what I just paid. <laughs> but doesn't matter. I have a trade agreement and it will pay off in time. I'm sure of that. Um, these guys, the that is trade agreements, trade agreements, welcome, I'm also gonna welcome. trade with these guys, alright, um, yes, trade agreements, wish. I'm having a lot of trade Greetings agreements right here, maybe I can seek peace with Egypt, but I'm gonna take them over so that's not a problem we have Parthia right here uh, who are actually my enemies so I'm at war with these guys I guess yes so I'm gonna take over their lands first and then I'm quite close to Egypt as well so yeah I'm gonna be doing that I guess I don't know what that was so I have 3000 income I think I paid 800 for that uh, trade agreement Anyway, um, which village should I upgrade? Um, Palmyria, Tyros. Okay. Um, oh, I can expand this one as well. Okay, cool. Okay, I have here an army. I should be sending an army over here. I'm gonna send my spy up here to see what they have. 
Um, I have my ship as well. The ship can scout for some new new factions I can deal with. Mm. Since I don't have really an enemy over here, I can send this army over here. I'm gonna send it over here. Then I'm gonna recruit some troops, some units. Light calf, levy pikemen, hillmen, one of my eastern slingers. Levy pikemen, I'm gonna get three extra of those. I uh, might be building an extra army here soon though. Can expand that as well. I guess I will upgrade here first. Um, this is a border actually. Um, I'm gonna go for a Mr. Field. Perhaps I can build something here. Yes, I will build that, I guess. Uh, this army can stay right here. Um, let's see. All 13 settlements. Be at war with the following faction, Egypt. So, I'm gonna be at war with Egypt. I'm gonna take over uh, Quidri right here. I don't know if, it, if I pronounce it right. And I'm going straight to Jerusalem and Petra. Yep. Like that. So, I'm gonna end my turn right here. Let's see the politics first. So, I already have an impressive empire. I have two armies. I can recruit nine generals. Okay. So let's end the turn right here. Oh, I may still issue an edict. Let's do that first. Mm. Commercial situation. So I'm gonna look at this first. Yeah, I have quite a good starting position. So. Up to the next turn. Let's see if someone tries to invade our lands. Uh, no movement from Egypt yet, so that's good. And look at all those factions. I've got some movement from Cyprus there. Alliance Forge between Athens and Sparta. Wow. That that is something we actually can predict. They're gonna team up versus um Epirus right here. And Epirus is really hard to play. I tried to play Epirus, um and I got destroyed in nine rounds. So anyway. We have still a lot of income. I'm gonna send these guys over here. I'm gonna recruit some more units. I'm gonna send my spy up here to see what they have. So they have quite an army. One, actually no. I'm gonna see if they have more, because otherwise I would, well, yeah. Otherwise I can just walk into their lands. But still, I can create some troops. I'm gonna have one more of these guys, um, and one more slinger, I guess. Eastern javelin men. No, we're gonna have a slinger. Uh, what are these? Eastern spearmen. I can disband them, but I think I'm gonna keep into. The nah, I can disband them. They're just bad units, they break immediately. So I disbanded those units. Um, I can build something, but I don't know what to build. I can expand this. I'm gonna build something right here, because this city needs to grow. This is a border and I will be going a tour with all these factions right here, so I'm gonna build the Master Field. Uh, right, these guys are busy. Let's have a look at my income. Can I raise my tax level? Nah, I can't. So, a lot of trade partners. Mm. Yeah, it's quite good. See if I can trade with someone. Armenia. Welcome Maybe they accept it now. Nope, they won't. Okay then. So up to the second round. 
Oh, I forgot to move my, my ship. But that's not a problem. Ooh, some movement from Egypt. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get the hell out of there. I don't want to engage with this Egyptian naval force. Ooh, a beast treaty. Their offers a payment of 4,000. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I'm still gonna invade you, but I accept the coin. So now I get your coin and your lands. So that's quite cool. Wow, 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 wow. They had a lot of money. Okay, so let's research. War declared, war declared, slums. We're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, right, that. So I have 8,000 at the moment. So I can build quite a lot this round. Um, yeah, I think I have plenty of troops enough to engage with them. So I'm going to take their lands. Gonna send my spy down here. Like that. And since I have so much money, I can spend it on buildings. Gonna get a farm, some deer, upgrade, 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 and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, gonna do this right here, so I can start to unlock my economical upgrades or whatsoever. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting some, yeah, desert. I'm gonna recruit some more units. No, I can't. This is unfortunate, but I want this village, the settlement. It's cool, so I have a flanking position on Egypt. <laughs> Any changes around here? Nope. Okay then. So let's go to the next round. And I forgot to move my fleet. Oh, damn it. I'm so bad. I think I have to make a second army, though. Because I want to uh, invade Egypt. And if I get Alexandria, that's going to be awesome. But I'm going to end the episode right here. And I'll see you guys in the next part.